Our Tecticon is back with another custom review of some Transformers. To be specific, the Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Predacon Rising Terracons. They combine into Abominus. Now this is a special review because a lot of new things are going on for me. First of all, this is my 10th video. <laughs> May not sound that special, but you gotta start somewhere. All the big guys, they all had their 10th videos. Second of all, this is my first dry brushing attempt, okay? And third of all, this is going to be the first custom that I ever sell on eBay. So therefore, it's my own first custom selling commercial. Now, I did some dry brushing with some gold to simulate some kind of like rusted effects, but the brown that I was going to try wasn't really going to work too well. So I, I went with gold just to try something new and it turned out pretty cool. So here we got Blight. I'm going to be using the Prime names by the way, since these are Prime characters. Even though they were never in the show, whatever. But he's got some cool effects going on. Like on his legs there. Along his arms. His claws held for a little bit of the gold dry brushing. We got Wind Razor. He's got some really cool effects on his wings. And of course, his legs and his back, and along his spiny tail and backbone. And we got Hunger. Now, Hunger is kind of one of the coolest and one of the most flawed. Like right here on his neck and his heads, his beast heads, he's got a little bit more than I would have really liked to have had. But on his back and tail, that has a really cool effect. We got Ripper Snapper. And he's got like the least amount of it. He's got about the same amount, but because of this clear plastic, which I chose a clear plastic for the contrast, but the clear plastic doesn't really show it up too well, even though it is on there. But it looks really cool along his fins, I guess you'd say, and his legs. Oh, kicked under his master. His balls, whatever. And then finally, what I think is my best one is okay, full mutiny going on. Is Twin Strike, which the the gold really works well with his clear yellow plastic. I think it looks really cool. And on the light blue, you got the gold going along his spine and his tails, and that's just looking pretty cool to me. Now, this piece right here. Well, it's not loose right now, but normally it is very, very loose. This, this, this one gets loose and in abominous mode. You know, it's easy to fall. Just to be warned. So, that's them in their beast mode. Let's get them in robot mode. So here's a team in their robot modes. We're going to start with Blight again. Good looking here. It was robot mode. Now I kept their faces, their heads hidden, their robot heads, when I did the dry brushing just to give them a cleaner face and not to take away like eye detail. That didn't look super great, but that's gonna be hidden in any kind of mode. His legs have a cool effect. Oh. Ripper Snapper, one of the coolest Decepticon names ever. Side Skull Cruncher. We have Hungu. Again on the 
feet, heads, or head feet, and the legs, necks, no, legs. It's a little bit more than I would have liked, but that's how it came out, and that's how it's going to be sold. Again, there's a tail, and that has a really neat effect on it. Got a little bit on this little dino reptile hands, whatever he is, dragon. Strike his Predacon symbol got mostly painted over. And unfortunately, I don't think Repro labels have the Predacon stickers that small. So, dumpy backpack. Still my favorite. Take a look at Abominus real quick. Hope I'm saying that right. So now we're going to take a good look at Abominus. Here he is. You know what a wonderful mess that he is. Hater to love him, you know he's a mess. He is Abominus. 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 Yeah, no comment. Picking out the details in this crazy mode, but I mean, he, he looks pretty cool. There's some different angles on the light. Hmm. Yeah, I think that will work better, anyways. Now, he does have his five purple weapons, but uh, I left him at my little workshop. But he does come with them, they're not painted or anything. And in fact, the hammers that Twin Strike and Light come with, they're, the holes in the tops to connect them, to combine them as different weapons, is really, really loose. I even used some nail polish on it, and it didn't help. So they're kind of in a different configuration to combine than the normal one. And just for some comparisons, here he is with the other Abominus. The non-clear one. And here is the Takara version. That version is actually called Goradora or something like that. So, there's my review of this shiny little guy, guys. Um, by the time you see this review up, it will be on eBay. It's going to be very fairly priced. Uh, you know, you'll probably save money by buying this version compared to try and buy all five of these guys individually, possibly. So check them out. Like I said, it's not some amazing job. I'm trying to push is some master customizer it's just a little dry brushing job and it makes for some cool unique terracons and if that's what you're going for check out the listing see if it's what you want and uh, maybe pick it up so until next time I will see y'all later